Hello again, guys. This is Steve Boyd, a.k.a. The Valiant One from ComicCollectorLive.com, and I'm continuing my tutorial video series on how to use our signature CCL software by uh, having this video to show you how to add an issue to your CCL software. I'm going to try to keep it pretty simple. Uh, as you know, the CCL software product has two functions. You can use it to catalog your comic books. You can do more than that too. You catalog your action figures, magazines, statues, busts, all kinds of fun stuff. But then you can also take those items that you have and put them up for sale on our website. So our website does a lot of different things, but everything is done through our software product. And the software product is available for $29.95 a year on ComicCollectorLive.com. But let's show you how to add an issue to your CCL software. We're going to assume that you've already downloaded the software product. You've already logged in and you are at the main collections screen. There's a bit of a learning curve with the CCL software. I tell people it takes about 10 or 15 minutes to play around with it, but maybe you want to go straight into learning how to do it. And that's what I'm going to help you do. We already have a cover title downloaded. We've downloaded the New 52 title Detective Comics from 2011. And I have a first print issue of number one that I want to add to my CCL catalog. Now every one of these line items here, when you download a title, it's, you're going to get these little lines here. The ones that are in blue mean that that particular issue number, which is located here, has a variant cover. So for issue number one, it says there's seven different variants. If you click on that, if you click on that plus sign there, you see there's the seven different variants that we have in our catalog. And CCL is very variant heavy. So this is kind of fun. The ones that are colored with like a manila folder basically say that there's, there's that only one cover for that particular book. Kind of weird, huh? Seven covers we have in our catalog for number one, but only one for number two. But I digress. We're going to add the first print cover to issue number one. And if you look here, if you just click on these lines here, you're going to see examples and instances of what those books look like. Second print is red. You can click on the plus sign here and get a larger scale image here if you want of the book. The fifth print black cover is right there. Comics Pro Edition. It's kind of cool. First print. We want to add it to the CCL software. We simply uh, go to that first line right there where that first print is and we left click twice. The system thinks for a second and boom, there's a little line that pops up underneath here. That is your instance of the issue you own. Now from there, you can click on edit, delete, insert item, a few different things you can do. This is kind of your playground system. This is if you right click on that line. If you click edit, you're going to bring you to an edit issue box that gives you a couple more examples of things you can do. You can change your price paid from the default cover price. If you want to keep really, really tight track of your collection, say I found this in a dollar bin, you can click there and you can change that out to a dollar if you want or whatever, $2.99. You can mark if it's signed. Uh, this information over here really won't apply to you unless you're wanting to sell the comic book. Don't know if you want to go ahead and add that information or not. You can, uh, but that's where that goes. We'll show you how to sell a comic book in another video. Condition information. Here on the left is a CGC rating if your book is CGC graded. For example, a universal grade, if you have a 9.8 of that, you can put there. And right here, you can put your label number. If it's a signature series, qualified, restored, all that fun stuff. As opposed to over here, this is put not rated. This is your Comic Collector Live rating. We support the 25 point grading scale at Gem Mint being a 10, poor being a 0.5, very fine near mint. Let's say your book is pretty average or uh, in high grade would be a 9.0, very fine near mint. Or if you're unsure about how to grade a book, you can hover over this and go through a little wizard to tutorial to determine your comic book condition. Personal information, this is just something about your book if you want. This was a gift from my mother. I love her. Nobody else will see that. That's just your personal notes for the book. This is kind of interesting, though. You can add three images of the book to your CCL software that will trump the main image that defaults for the book. So let's say, for example, you had a full picture of that CGC graded 9.8. You can browse through your images on your computer, just like if you're posting on Facebook or whatever, and put that image right there. Say you want to do the back of a book. If you have an old Silver Age book that you want to look at the condition, you can put that there. If it's a gatefold, whatever. 
those issues, those images can go right there. And again, your image one will trump whatever is in the database. So once you've got the information that you feel comfortable with, if you're good with it, just hit OK. If you look here, it's already changed the condition there to the very fine near mint. If you had put the CGC 9.8, this would have said 9.8, and so on and so on. Now let's say if you accidentally click on that again, oh no, I've added an additional issue I shouldn't have. You can click delete and boom, you're back down to your one issue. You can add full runs this way by left clicking on and, and adding full runs. You can also determine your view if you want to see, if you don't want to go through the process of adding all those little plus signs and showing the different variant covers for stuff, you can change your view on those. And if you'll notice, it minimized this down to one line, but it still shows that you own one issue. But to see which number that you own, you will have to open that up and it'll show that there. And that is how we add an issue to the CCL database. Uh, be sure to check out CometCollectorLive.com for literally hundreds of thousands, if not millions of comic books for sale by trusted sellers and private collectors, brick and mortar stores all over the country. And if you're not there, if you're on Facebook more than you are CCL, you should check out our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash comic collector live. If you'd like to tweet, we're on Twitter, go to Twitter at CCL comic collect. That's our handle on there. And if you've enjoyed these tutorial videos, or if you've got some suggestions, for future ones, or you just want to give us a pat on the back, you can shoot us an email at helpdesk at comiccollectorlive.com. I think that's all the plugs, and we will see you in the next tutorial. You guys have a good one.